Okay folks, got another security camera and this is probably the best value I've seen on Amazon for a pan tilt fully featured 2K camera. I mean it's pretty incredible. The only thing it doesn't have is onboard battery and solar panel. But for $25 this is really quite exceptional. Um, there was a brand called Wise that came out with cameras a while back. Um, I've used them. I've always been a fan of them. But I'll tell you, um, you know, you, what really set them apart, in my opinion, was the price point. Uh, 19 bucks. I mean, to add some security to your home, some, some surveillance, right? For this, this is incredible, $25. Now, it is on a limited time deal, and it's only $32. So for $32, it's still a decent value, but for $25, it's quite incredible. And there's really no excuse. For $100, bucks, I know you guys can add, you, you can get four of these suckers and really get some good peace of mind in your house. I do have my pet peeves, like with anything that I review, uh, especially security cameras, but overall, this is a great value. I almost consider this the best value of 2024 on this channel. Uh, 25 bucks, you can't go wrong. It does it is sold by Amazon, it does ship by Amazon, and you are uh, protected by Amazon, which I love Amazon, right? So what do you get? Let's go ahead and unbox it. Pretty straightforward here, you get the camera. I like that this is a very small form factor pan tilt zoom camera. Probably one of the smallest ones that I've reviewed. Um, now granted, if you do get a solar slash battery powered camera, they're always larger. But this one here, even compared to a couple that I have in the backyard that are, uh, you know, plug-in versions, this is a nice size. A uh, couple antennas on it to help with your Wi-Fi. They are fully adjustable, and I like that. You can adjust these all the way out, uh, all the way down. I mean, almost 360 degrees. Uh, I like that they put three holes here, so they give you the template. But what I like about them, the three holes and one right on top, you can just kind of pop one screw in there, kind of eyeball it straighten it and then pop the other ones in there um, a lot of times this is pretty light you don't necessarily even need to mount the other screws but you know if you want to do so go ahead uh what do you get with this ip66 water resistance 2.4 gigahertz wi-fi some of these things are pretty standard what i call just your standard features color night vision infrared night vision motion tracking two-way audio a lot of those things like two-way audio never i've never used it once right uh and the reason why is a lot of times by the time you get an alert Somebody comes up to your front of your house to deliver a package. By the time you get the alert, pull up your phone, open up the app, unlock your phone, open the app, pull over if you're driving. You know, that person's long gone, right? But it's nice it has. It is kind of standard features. And again, I forgot to mention, the company is called Blue Rams. So, another Chinese name. Uh, so, uh, yeah, so uh, names are never something I'm, I'm really too concerned with. Um, I would do prefer them, not put the name right on the front of the camera. Uh, I don't want to sound like the old watch snobs talking about Invicta, you know, in the branding, you know, but I mean, this is going on the side of your house. Uh, there's really no reason to advertise it. They could have put it, you know, in the back here or something like that because people aren't going to look at your house and be like, oh, who makes that? Oh, Blue Rams. Good thing it's listed on there. You know, nobody really cares. So, um, you know, do away with that, right? I do like the fact that it's white. This will blend right into molding, which is generally where you're mounting these cameras. Uh, what else? Um, you do have onboard micro SD card, although pet peeve number one, it does not include that. I'd rather them charge $30 and include it, right? But 25 is still a fantastic value. Um, I like things fully featured out of the box when I get them. Uh, you do get the power adapter, which is, I'm not going to show you, it's your standard plug-in power adapter. It's not a USB-C. That's kind of a pet peeve of mine because if the power adapter goes out, you can't just go anywhere and grab a power supply you'll have to order one but you know that's fine you do get a i think it's about a six to nine foot cord Let's see if they list it here they do not list it i don't think they list it here um all right but one thing about these cameras and i hope this brand lasts you know you just never know with some of the off brands on amazon uh brands come and go right but they do say you have lifetime 24-hour cloud recording included in this and if that's the case, this is definitely something I'm going to replace my other cameras with uh, because a lot of companies don't give you that. And I'm a pet peeve of signing up for an extra charge with Netflix and HBO Go and cable and internet, gas bill, power, all these things just add up. I don't want to pay $3 more a month, right? And so I like that they give you 24 hours of recording. I think that's almost all you need because a lot of times 
you know, you get an alert or you need to check something, you usually have 24 hours if you know, hey, this looks a little out of place. I, I noticed this. I want to check it. But you can always have the onboard. I always recommend getting an SD card with any camera that you install, but you will have to buy it, of course. Uh, well, so right now, again, free cloud recording, color night vision, auto tracking alerts, 2.4 gig Wi-Fi. That's pretty standard, right? You get 2K HD. Here's the top five that you'll see on most cameras. 2K HD, color night vision, works with the Amazon and Google smart home assistants, auto tracking and two-way talk. 2K resolution is better than 1080p. Um, and it does have a flashing siren alarm. Somebody appears in the frame of the camera to go off. I don't recommend using that. I've never had, even with cameras with the AI built in, I've never had a camera smart enough to be able to distinguish what is a person, what is a car. Um, some of the better ones with AI, they're, you know, they're getting better, but not where I want to trust it with a siren going off to, dis to disturb my neighbors. Now, if you, ha if you do have this inside a house or you live somewhere where absolutely doesn't get any motion, and you'll have to put it to the test yourself and see how well it works, but I constantly have cameras going off with nothing there. Leaves blowing, uh, sunlight going in and out, clouds going by, none of them are really smart enough to really work to the point where I trust them 100%. And this does have smart AI recognition. It says that it can distinguish between pet, pet package and vehicle. I uh, yet to be determined on whether or not that actually works. I've never seen um, any of them work all that well. Now it does have detection zones. And so what, what kind of bugs me about pan tilt zoom camera and something for you guys to think about if you do get this. Remember, the price is amazing on this. And if you if you look at this as just saying, hey, you know, I'm getting a pan tilt zoom camera for 25 bucks, then you'll be happy with it. But if you go into the same, like here, focus on what matters. They're showing two different detection areas. Well, that only works if the camera's never being moved. As soon as you change this, or if it's not in exactly the same spot, that detection area changes. So these cameras are not, unless I'm gonna be pleasantly surprised, are not smart enough to say, hey, this is, I want you to monitor this area, and then even when I rotate it, it's gonna change that area. Or just is it smart enough to say, hey, this guy wants his camera mounted in this direction most of the time. He moved it to look at the garage or, or something on the side of the property, and to turn off that detection area, make the whole area detection area, right? If you stop it somewhere and then bring it back. I just don't think these cameras, any of them, are really featured enough or smart enough to actually do that yet. So detection area, Unless you're going to leave it alone and keep it in one area, it's kind of pointless, right? Uh, and again, I like this. No hidden cost for storage. Get that 128 gig SD card if you want. Probably going to cost you as much as the camera. But you get, again, 24-hour loop, free cloud recording for life. And to me, that's excellent. It says the camera can record events 12 seconds long in the last 24 hours without an SD card or cloud. That kind of contradicts itself. Without card or, card or cloud. It's saying free cloud storage. You need the cloud if it's cloud. If you need the camera to record longer, please insert a card or subscribe to the cloud. So not sure we're gonna have to put that to the test. Um, it does not support five gig Wi-Fi, which is okay. You know, 2.4 there has better penetration power for getting through obstacles and walls. Um, I have five gig cameras as well, and they work, but they are mounted pretty close to the access point. A lot of folks are gonna mount. My network's pretty robust. I got Ubiquity. I have three access points. Um, soon to be four and so you know two of the main rooms of my house have ceiling mounted access points so even with that short distance some devices struggle a little bit so five gig higher speed but you don't really need higher speed um, with a you know if you're if you're recording 4k that might be beneficial but recording in 2k you don't really need um, high speed, right? So just kind of, that's my opinion, and well, you may disagree, but um, but other than that, again, nice small form factor for a pencil zoom camera, fully featured, uh, you really can't beat 25 bucks. So I want to thank, what's the name here? Uh, Blue Rams for their generosity and collaborating at Fat Cat Collections. If you do have any kind of questions whatsoever, do not hesitate to ask, I'm here to help. Uh, links are, as always, are in the description, and um, yeah, let me know if you add one to your system. Thanks for watching. Have a good day and take care.